first time that uh, we heard Sgt. Pepper, The Grateful Dead, was exposed to the Sgt. Pepper album. We were in New York playing at the Cafe A Go-Go uh, down in the village, and one of the girls that worked there came in with a copy of it, put it on the PA. I remember listening to it, and, and it, it, sort of, it was sort of transparent. It sort of went through my head, you know. Listened to it a few more times, and, uh, and it, it started to sneak in on you. Of course, the, the, the Beatles had been kind of leaking psychedelia in the last few records before that. You know, they've been, they've been kind of getting squishy around the edges. You know, so this record was really, uh, uh, it came to be the anthem record of the Haight-Ashbury, if anything, if you could say anything was, certainly. I would say that and possibly Blonde on Blonde, I think, was the other one of those other records that you heard all the time, every house. <laughs> 